I'm Tanya Lister. I'm one of the owners of the Carskew Hotel, and we've been here for approximately three and a half years now. Hi, I'm Sonia Virchevex, unpronounceable name, um, coming from France, and yes, one of the owners, and my role is much more in the kitchen with the food. We're right at the foot of a, a great big sea loch, um, Loch Glendu. Uh, you know, the views down the loch are fantastic, and across the mountains, and obviously working fishing boats, landing um, just at the, the slipway outside the hotel as well. We are benefiting from having now four or five fishermen working with us and being able to rely on a daily supply of shellfish, which makes it quite incredible. You know, you get the, the sort of theatrical of walking through the bar with a case of live langoustines with people going, oh, what's this? That's your food for in 20 minutes if you want. You know, as a nation, we haven't been great fish and seafood eaters. Um, and actually what we've been trying to do since we've been here is really sort of put a stake in the ground so that some of the, the supply comes our way and, and gets hived off rather than going on these great big lorries that you see trundling down the roads um, and, and being flown straight out to southern Europe. M marine protected areas would be wonderful uh, in the sense that it would protect what's below this, this amazing loch. I remember diving in the south of France in a, around an island that was protected and the amount of sea life around there was incredible. And you go a few hundred yards away, and because it's been overfished, there's nothing. But then this tiny little island is full of life and, and satellites all that life a across the whole area. Marine protected areas are an essential key to, to keeping you know, this, this kind of business alive, because you know, without it, um, you know, we're not going to be able to, to offer the, the sort of produce that we want to, or it will be so unaffordable because it's just no longer ex in, in existence in, in that same way, um, that even if people wanted to try it, they, they'd be hard pushed to, to be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. you know, so that there are two aspects to that. One is the sort of moral um, element of, of you know, what we're doing to, to the planet and, and to the life in the sea, but the other element is people's livelihoods here. We can't just keep sort of pillaging um, the sea in the way that we have been and, and think that, that those types of livelihoods are going to continue in the same way. It's, it's just not going to happen. 